Hi, in this lesson, we're going to begin Unit 3, Congruent Triangles. The main topics we covered in Unit 3 were classifying triangles, equilateral isosceles triangles, the triangle sum and exterior angle theorems, CPCTC, which is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, and triangle congruence postulates. In this video, we're going to focus on classifying triangles. Triangles can be classified both by their angles as acute, right, obtuse, or equiangular, and by their sides as scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. It's always best to give the most specific classification possible. So for example, when I look at these triangles, each one can have two different classifications, one by angles, one by sides. So when I look at this first one by the sides, they're all 8.6. So they all have equal side lengths, which means this is definitely equilateral. When I look at the angles, I have a 60 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and a 60 degree angle. So while they are all acute, and this is an acute triangle, since they're all equal, it's more specific to call it equiangular. So anytime it asks me for the best classification, I should not use acute here, I should use equiangular, even though it is an acute triangle. Okay? When I look at the next one, when I look at the sides 11.2, 7, and 13.2, those are all different side lengths, so this one is scalene. My angles are 32, 58, and 90, so I have acute, acute, and a 90. The 90 degree angle is the one that takes precedence when naming it, so we call this a right triangle. Even though it has two acute angles, we go with the biggest angle and we call it a right triangle. So this is a scalene right triangle. When I look at the third one, I have a side that's three and then two sides that are 4.8. So these two sides are the same. So since I have two sides the same, this is scalene. Or sorry, I lied. This one is isosceles. Okay, then when I look at the angles, I see I have two angles that are both 72, which makes sense if it's isosceles, because my base angle should be the same. And then I have another angle that's 36 degrees. I'm going to put a different mark on that one because it's a different angle. They're all acute angles, so that means this triangle is an acute triangle. So it's isosceles and it's acute. Okay. When I look at the next one, at first it looks like it's going to be scalene because none of my sides are marked congruent. Okay, and so if they were marked, if I had congruent sides, they should be marked congruent for me. Okay, I can see that I do have one obtuse angle, so I know this is an obtuse triangle. To verify that it's scalene, since I don't have any markings on it, to verify that it's scalene, we can find x because if it's isosceles, I'm going to have two congruent angles. I know it can't be equilateral because I can't have three equal angles because two of them are different right here. Okay, so my triangle sum theorem is going to tell me that the three angles in the triangle add up to 180. So my 110 plus my 30 plus whatever this x is, I know that's going to make 180 degrees. So 110 plus 30 is 140. I'm going to take away 140. And x is going to equal 40 degrees. So just like I suspected, nothing was marked congruent. Since I have three different angles, that means I have three different sides. So this is scaling. Okay? All right, on my last triangle, on this one, I can see I do have two sides that are marked congruent, so I know we are isosceles. And I can see this angle here looks like it's obtuse. However, I can't just assume that it is because it doesn't tell me anywhere that my picture is to scale. So if it doesn't tell me my picture's to scale, I have to assume it's not to scale, which means even though this one looks like it's Obtuse, I can't really for sure know it's obtuse. So that means we don't have enough information 
to classify by angles. It looks like it's an obtuse isosceles triangle, but I can only call it isosceles. Okay, hopefully that helps you with classifying triangles. If you have any other questions, make sure you ask during sync time or during tutoring time. In our next video, we're going to review equilateral and isosceles triangles. Thank you for watching.